Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout. It is scheduled for 10 rounds and will be for the vacant WBO Global Heavyweight Championship. Brought to you by Frank Lauren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, Stewart in Charge, and WBO Supervisor, John Handelar. Along with the World Boxing Organization President, Francisco Baracarcel. Our three judges scoring on a 10-point must system will be Terry O'Connor of England, Matteo Montella of Italy, and Vence Kovac of Hungary. Our referee in charge, third man in the ring will be Bob Williams of England. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. Live from the SSE Arena, Wembley, London, this is our main event of the evening. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing red with black and weighed in at 17 stone, three pounds. Coming to us from Accra, Ghana, he brings a professional record consisting of 14 wins, just one defeat with 11 of his 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Richard Lorte. And his opponent across the ring in this main event, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 17 stone. Hailing from Greenwich, London, England, he is undefeated with 10 wins. Nine of his 10 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former undefeated WBC Youth World Southern Area and WBO European Champion, and he is the current English Heavyweight Champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois! WBO Global Heavyweight Championship. Obey my commands, in the event of a knockdown, a fighter standing will go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times, touch gloves. Two big men in there, Richard Larty, who looks every one of his 27 years with one defeat in his 15 fights was a late arrival, he had problems with his visa before getting in. That's probably because of the date of birth. <laughs> he certainly Second does look out. a little bit more than Round 27, one. doesn't he? Anyway, here goes. Is Daniel Dubois going to get another spectacular quick victory? Larty, oh. we've heard, has got a decent right hand, but can he take a shot? Already came out of the gate, ran the lovely right hand there, Dubois. Well, he's landed with a right hand there, Larty and the left, and Dubois just gives a little bit of ground. Well, what happened there for Dubois? He came out and landed with a nice long right hand, just backed up Larty a little bit, and then got a little bit carried away. And this sort of way, the last thing you want to do is start exchanging wild punches like that. It really is just a lottery. The hugely experienced Kevin Johnson, the one man who's taken Daniel Dubois the distance. He's, he's a big man for a 21 year old that's good there from Dubai they're using their legs there scoring just getting out of distance very important not to take anything back after you've thrown Marty's one loss was the only time that he's fought outside Africa lost uh, in Switzerland to one Ergun Mestin fifth round retirement defeat for Larty. Dubois coming into the this on the back of that very impressive win against Razvan Kojanu at the Royal Albert Hall. Man who'd taken Nathan Gorman the distance. Dubois 
accounted for him in five minutes 48 seconds. Yeah, he's got a really good performance there from Dubai. He was improving every fight. I think the Johnson fight was important for him because he's a guy who's had to hit clean, frustrated him. And I, mean, I think he probably learned more from that than all the other blowouts that he's had so far. Joe Joyce, an interested observer on the far side of the ring from where we're commentating. He won't miss a shot here. Possibility that he's going to be fighting Daniel Dubois, the Commonwealth champion, Joyce, an Olympic silver medalist. The right idea there from Dubois. The good, he went a little bit low with the left hand, I think it was a little bit below the waist, but it's the right idea just to dip down to the body. Just that getting those arms a little bit tired. Lati ducking low and the heads clashing as he went in. Referee is not going to stand for Larty dragging his man on, I don't think. Now Dubois a little bit more measured than earlier on. Yeah, that's good for him as well. The, the distance he was at there just allowed to see what was coming back from Larty, make him miss. a married man father of twins hails from Accra in Ghana seven brothers and sisters they'll be watching closely Here's Daniel Dubois being spoken to by Martin Bowers. And early on, he had some terrific success, but maybe just got a bit too carried away. Yeah, this was the seconds. second half of the, of the round there, but he just did the right thing through a nice combination, just took a little half a step out, Second's making Lati fall oh, short, and not, not overcommitting. Opposed to earlier on in the fight, with, early on in the round, where he did sort of rush his work after landing with a good right hand. So Dubois doing enough, though, to take yes. that opening round. And we move now into the second. Just soften him up with the jab, just keep pumping that jab out. Know, without it being a, a, there's not enough snapping it to be a real concussive shot, but it's a real heavy shot, and I think it drains the energy of, of the opponent. Well, that's better, a bit of speed in that, that jab there from Dubois. It's good shots. Larty trying to bravely fight back, swinging away at Dubois as he came in. See, with Larty leaning forward there, just try and, if you can get your arms free, just rip the, rip the uppercut through the middle as he's pushing you back. Even volunteered to move back a bit, so you can get a little bit of space to get that uppercut into play. And Bob Williams is going to speak to him. Yep. Get him in that vice-like grip is not going to be allowed, and it's not for the first time. Still important for Dubai to keep his composure here now. Really low with that left hand. And he's claiming time. Referee is going to give him time to recover as well. Yeah, we it was a... low. I thought I thought it was actually on the leg, but obviously in real time it, it might have. Uh, but it was it was a low left hook. Well, it was an accidental one, and he'll be given time. Had a rather high-profile fight last week, which. Uh, had a little bit of this, which played its part. Yeah, yeah it was low, but he's ready to continue. Right on the waistband. Good jab oh, there. I tell you what, that right hand over the top just clipped Dubois. And again, pushing him back. He fancies it with that right hand, Larty. That's his danger punch. And again, he swung with that right hand as Dubois fell forward. Well, Dubois threw that right hand. There, just did it then. Just, just leaned his body a little bit too far over the, 
the front knee. Gotta get a little bit more turning the waist when he throws the shot. Oh, oh good shot. shot, Dubois. Great right hand. And that's hurt him. And Larty now is wanting to cover up. He's the uppercut there, Dubois. Shakes his head at Dubois, as much as to say you've got to find a little bit more. Well, Dubois says, OK, have a bit of this. What he needs to do there with Dubois is just take a, take a little quarter step to the side and get that uppercut on, on the chin. He's leaning right over the front foot there, Larty. Larty just covering up, keeping his gloves up, and perhaps waiting, waiting for another opportunity to unleash that right hook. Well, another round for Dubois, but there was a moment there where he was clipped by a solid right hand. Here he is with his coach, Martin Bauer. We'll watch again some of the action from the second round. Those are powerful body shots from yeah. Dubois. It's a lovely right hand and then a left hook to the body. It's good work from the back, keeping that distance nice and right. Oh, that's where he just fell in and had to take that right hand. And just uh, surprised by that. He took it quite well, though, I thought, to be, to be fair. You know, he, didn't, he did the right thing. He took a few steps back, you know, just to compose himself. These big guys, you're going to get hurt, you're going to get burst. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It just means you got to get that left hand up a little bit higher when it comes back, a little, come back a little bit faster when he throws the jab. Third round. And both rounds so far, clearly to Dubois. What I'd like to see Dubois do is when he throws the jab, just take a little step with the back foot to the right, rather than go round to your left like you normally would. Because when Larry throws that jab there, that, again, you could throw that right hand over the top over the top of the left hand. Just jab, take a little step to the right, and then throw that right hand. Keeps you away from his right hand as well, which is obviously important, because that's the, the shot that he, that he boasts Dubois with. Marty Corner got very excited about that left hook counter, but Dubois got his gloves up, as he did there, to parry and block the blow. Was Dubois this time looking to look at the clinch first out of the two. Referee Bob Williams trying to get them just to box their way out of it. Oh, oh good shot. shot, great right hand. And Larty falls into Dubois. Felt the weight of that. Dubois will know it. Again, we've been saying, haven't we, that he leans over that front foot, he's invited you to throw that uppercut. He's going to take a point away from him, I think, if he doesn't let go. He's warned him once. Do you understand? To be fair, if I got caught with an uppercut like that, I wouldn't be letting go either. What a shot. Well, Lott is coming in here, giving it everything. And he's trying to... Launch one last, maybe, valiant attack. Goodness me. The seconds in which he composed himself <laughs> gave him an opportunity to mount that. Well, firstly, for the guy who looked like he was in trouble, recovered, didn't he? But why do bad is, is playing, a, is, is gambling like that? You've got to keep it nice and long. Well, anxious moments there for Daniel Dubois, and people might say, for the first time in his professional career, Larty coming at him, firing back, and really putting Dubois under some pressure. Joe Joyce watching on on the far side of the ring. Good shot there from Dubois. Penny for his thoughts. Will he be thinking? Let's hope he, let's hope he has a, a firefight like that with me. That's what he'll be thinking right now. But Dubois still doing the better work out of the two, clearly. Oh, Again, nice. Larty just covering up, waiting, waiting. I was looking for Dubois, he just faked the, faked the jab and through, just clipped the left hook over the top. Stuck his tongue out at him. 
I don't think Daniel's going to get too phased by that. Good jab again there from Dubois. Just got to make sure it comes up high when he, when he brings it back. Well, whatever else happened in that round, that dramatic exchange in the early stages was pretty extraordinary. Let's watch again, Barry. This was something. Oh, this is lovely left hook there from the back. But he thought he had him going, that's why. Look at that uppercut there. And also, oh, that's a good right hand there, though, from Larty, right on the top of the head. To be fair, I don't think Dubai was, was, was seriously hurt. I think he just pushed himself, threw himself off balance. That was where he thought he got him. Thought he got him Six going. Well, scorpions. just before that, he caught with that uppercut, didn't he? That real good uppercut. And Larty then, uh, comes back with. That so left hand, hand. This right and hand. that oh, right that's hand. A good shot there from Lati. Fantastic shot. To me, I think they're both they're both showing good chins. Round four. All three so far to Dubois. Yeah, I think so. I think he's been doing he's doing the much better work out the two. Little flash points of danger, obviously, in in a couple of those rounds. But Dubois just takes his time. Good jab from Lati there. Keeps it nice and long. There's a right hand as well, wasn't there, though, from Dubois. Dubois catches him with the right hand, but Larty again comes back swinging. He's got some guts, this lad. Yeah, but see, Dubois, when Dubois took a little half a step back, he made Larty miss, and that's what he needs to do. Don't, don't, just take a little step back, then throw, and then you throw back again. Don't go mixing it with the guy. No Ghanaian has ever held a Commonwealth Heavyweight champion. Championship. Shots nice uppercut, that's the one you've been looking for, Barry. Again, if he jabs now, takes a step to the right. That right, look at the look at the gap there for the right hand. Just needs to move that right foot over. Marty has that raw look about him, but he also clearly has a little bit of danger about him. See, that is the close-up shot like that and walk on to, walk on to Dubois, block and then throw. If you, if you can take it on his hand, oh, oh great shot, right hand it was. He walked straight onto it and Dubois landed a peach of a right hand. Is Larty going to get up? He's bravely trying to get to his feet, but the referee says that is enough and it's all over. A great right hand from Daniel Dubois did the business. And he just caught him as he was square, I think, as well. And he's got no resistance against the shot at all. It was a fantastic, real heavy punch there from Dubois. But he took a few risks tonight there, Dubois, who gambled on his power against Lardy's power and came out on top. But some, some parts of it, he boxed really, really well, really intelligent, you know, re really controlled. And another part, he just sort of took a real gamble. He really uncorked a huge right hand, though, to put Lardy down. Daniel Dubois winning once again for the 11th time and for the 10th time inside the distance. Maybe took a few more shots than one or two might like to see, but as uh, people say, you don't get into the pond without getting your toes wet. But also, you know, I, I think he showed a decent chin, I'd be fair, he took a few shots, but what he also showed as well is that he can be hit, he can be knocked back, and he can be in, you know, that's, that was a real exciting fight, wasn't it, for a while it last, and that's, and that's what you want to see in the heavyweight division. There's the right hand, that's what did it, it was as Larty was trying to unload himself, and he caught him, as Barry said, square, bang, and down he went. There's just no resistance when you're caught like that on your heels. And I also think the accumulation of shots as well, he's taking some heavy punches, and I think just there was just a little bit of wear and tear. That's a great shot, look at that, right on the button, that right hand. Right on the button, it's a great shot. Trying to throw his own looping right hand at the same time. Dubois beat him to the punch spectacularly. But again, though, that Dubois gets the knockout, which is fantastic, in a situation where he was gambling again. This is a kid, I think he's, a, he's got a little bit of a, a risk factor about him. He likes to take a little bit of risk, likes to gamble, because he was doing well, just keeping it at range, moving in and out. But he, he wanted to engage, he, I think he enjoys the battle.
Well, he's so heavy-handed, and he also took one or two tonight, and there'll be those who say, who have said, you know, we want to see him under pressure, we want to see him clipped. Well, he was. He was, and I, but I, the, Joe Joseph will be watching this, thinking, I hope he does that with me. I hope he, I, no, don't want to get caught by, by Dubai, who, who would? But, I mean, I think he'd be, he'll, he'll half want to get him, get caught in a firefight because he's extremely strong himself and he'll he'll gamble on his power over his and that's what makes that fight fascinating if, if it will happen because it literally is who's going to take the biggest gamble and who's the bigger puncher of the two well it's a british title fight which is going to happen at some point somewhere down the line whether it'll be immediately or later in the year well, we wait to see on that one. Meanwhile, Richard Larty still getting a little bit of treatment in his corner, and he is furious that the fight has been stopped. He's shouting and shouting to those around him, saying it was wrong that it was stopped. But frankly, I suspect that he doesn't quite know exactly yeah. what happened, and the referee was absolutely right yeah. to end it. He wasn't shouting straight after, was he, when he first got up? He was a little bit confused up with days, and, and he take. I, I think referee was spot on. He taking some heavy shots, and I think it was a, rather than just a really, a really good shot, which he was. I think it was accumulation of punches through you know, in the last few rounds, which is wearing, wear and tear. It's not too long back that Bob Williams was the referee who was criticised roundly for allowing a fight to go on too long. This time, for me, he got it right, ended it at the right time, and Dubois gets the spectacular win. And here now comes Thomas Triber to give the formal announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 50 seconds of round number four. Your winner by count out. And now the WBO Global Heavyweight Champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. What a wonderful situation we have in heavyweight boxing in Britain at the moment. And Daniel Dubois, as he gets that belt wrapped around his waist, is right in the heart of it.